Since constants are used quite a bit in the robot, I wanted to talk a little bit about ways to create constants. Um, first of all, you, you usually want to put them in a separate file so that they can be used from multiple places. So let's go ahead and just create a, uh, a header file and let's call it uh, constants.h. Okay, and uh, it says default C++ header template, so we'll just let that be. Uh, I'm going to get rid of all this though. So I'm going to use my favorite pragma once. Okay, so one thing you can do is you can say class, you can give it the name constants. Um, you can do this, and then you can, and there's nothing wrong with this, you can say static, um, so some con some static int, you need a type, um, some int const here um, equals 20. Okay, and then you can say static, float, and some some float const equals uh, 123.23. Remember, f is the literal because without the f, it's creating a double. Um, and w so what we're doing is we're saying, okay, this belongs to constants. It's static. It's not to an instance of the class. It's to the class itself. So that um, if we save this and we want to use this, uh, so let's come back over to our our main and let's just include it. And so we include constants.h. Okay, so now um, the syntax for getting to something that's static to a class is the class name itself, colon, colon, and then um, some in const, some fun. Okay, so like this. Now you notice when it, it popped up, I'm going to get a warning here that uh, there's, this is by default classes. Um, the hidden, <laughs> the default keyword is private. Everything is default uh, private. So it's as if I wrote this. That's the same thing. Nothing's changed. So typically you're creating constants because you want to use them somewhere else. So you have to say public. Okay. So to me, this is a little bit of extra work and it's not really expressing your intent all that well because you don't want to have public, private, protected. You don't want constructors, destructors, um, copy operators. Uh, assignment operators created for you and, and all that. You just want constants. If, if what you're after are constants, uh, to me, the better way to do this is to not use a class at all. Replace the class with namespace. Okay. Um, get rid of all the static keywords, right? You don't need them. Um, so because of, of how namespaces are, they're not, they're, there's no such thing as an instance of a namespace. So everything, a namespace is basically the equivalent of a static class. Okay, so so you do this, and those static keywords are gone. You've got a namespace. You don't have constructors. You don't have destructors. You don't have anything created automatically for you. All those things that C++ does, and then your usage doesn't change. Um, it's still constants, some in constant. You don't have to worry about the the public and the private. It's public. So um, well, we have to do something with this. Oh boy. So we can say you know int x equals this. And then we can just see out x, right? Okay, so um, and there you go. So it's just a to me, it's a little cleaner and easier to to code way of of creating constants.